Hey, Davidson Dan here. Thought I'd do a quick uh, review video on the fueling vented oil cap that uh, I reviewed. Well, I didn't review. I showed you how to install it. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'd have to look and see when I posted that video, maybe two months ago. Anyways, it was about 4,000 miles ago, and I, I said I'd do a follow-up video. So what I noticed is this. My Harley Davidson, I've got a, a, a Road Glide, a 2017 Road Glide with a 107 in it. Um, I still lose oil. I still have to add oil to about every thousand miles. I got to add a little bit of oil. Um, that hasn't changed. Okay, we still have excess oil pressure building up, and it has to go somewhere. So now it's going through that little tube. I'll show you, uh, and it goes out the little filter. Okay, rather than going into my air cleaner and dumping and spooging all that oil uh, into my intake, where it can get back into the engine and cause all kinds of problems, and it was causing my bike to run rough. Um, so I don't have that anymore. I, I take the air cleaner off. There's no oil in there anymore. It's not bypassing the, uh, uh, you know, any, any of the, I'm not a mechanic, so forgive me, but it's not bypassing any of the pistons and getting up into the air cleaner, okay? It's all going out away from the bike. So I, I still do lose some oil that I have to add back in. Uh, the Harley Davidson mechanics at Warren Harley Davidson told me when I hit about 15,000 miles, on the bike, it'll be less and less. I'm sitting at about 13,600. Yeah, that's right. I hit 10,000 miles this season, so uh, I had a good time. Um, but anyways, I, I thought I'd talk about that. Uh, power, lots of power. I mean, I, I can't believe the difference in power. Very noticeable. I mean, I don't have any metrics to say, like, well, I gained two horsepower or I gained this much torque. I'm just going to say it was a noticeable difference in power in a good way. Noticeable difference in power for the bike when I put that bypass kit on. Uh, downside to it, uh, I got the metal cap, okay? It's really hot. I, I mean, all the Harley stuff that I watched said you should run your bike, uh, get it nice and warm, shut it off, let the oil settle back down, and check your oil. But you're not doing that with this oil cap. <laughs> it's, a, it's a metal top, and it, it's way too hot. It, way too hot. Uh, another thing I noticed is, boy, it doesn't want to come off. Uh, the cap doesn't want to come off, so so what I've ended up doing is taking uh, some rubber from an old bicycle tire, like the lining, and I keep it on my bike. And, and even when it's cold, I got to use that to get the extra grip to get that cap off, almost like you would an oil filter. It kind of gets locked on there, vapor locked or something, so the cap doesn't want to come off. Um, but I've realized that checking my oil cold and warm, it, it's, it's pretty much the same. So that's how I've gotten around that. Uh, so I'd say that's a downside is that I can't check my oil when it's hot. The cap is just too hot. I mean, I could barely touch it. You can imagine it's metal. You know, we're getting conduction heat through the engine right to the cap. Um, but other than that, I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, I will keep it. I'd recommend it to everybody just because of the power gain and oil not going into my air cleaner. So those two things alone, um, the power gain was a pleasant surprise, uh, but the oil bypassing and getting into the oil uh, I mean, the air filter and, and, and the intake there, I didn't like that, and, and my bike would sputter. I mean, I'd come up the stop signs or red lights, and the bike, you know, sometimes it stalled. That happened before I put the bypass kit on it. I'm thinking, this is a brand new Harley. This shouldn't be. Um, but it would. Sometimes it would stall, and I'd have to restart it, you know, and, and uh, so there's that. But I haven't had that issue since I put the bypass kit on. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, if you don't know where to get it, go see my buddy Brian at Freedom Cycle 13 in Hubbard, Ohio. He'll sell you t-shirts, uh, he'll sell you all the motorcycle gear you need, uh, and if you don't want to buy anything, you just want to hang out with a really cool dude, you can do that too. It's a great place to hang out. So Freedom Cycle 13 in Hubbard's where I bought mine. Uh, he also has it on his bike, uh, so you can ask him about it, but uh, Davidson Dan gives it a two br br up. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll bring you another video later on in the week. Thanks.